first of several outreaches was led by the chairman of the COI, retired judge Donald Trotman, research assistant Florence Bourne, and regional representatives. It is aimed at soliciting and garnering feedback from the public and promoting the work of the COI. Addressing the family, friends, and other stakeholders, the chairman assured them that he will not rest until the truth is revealed. Ten years is a long time, but it is not too long. We don't consider it too long. It is long, and it is hampering some of our investigations, but not all of them. And we, are, we have been getting over the past, during the past, um, month and a half or so that we've started, we've been getting quite a lot of information which is helping us to achieve our main, one of our main objects, getting to the truth. Marilyn Solomon, Compton Spears' common law wife prior to his death, is hoping that she gets justice. I sure that we got justice because my son was just nine years old and I struggled with him nine and ten, he is 19 now. And I do hope that we got justice for it. Because sometimes when you hear about this thing, you say, look, I can't make it. And tell me he was coming this afternoon and I haven't seen him here on tonight. His elder sister, Carmen Gittin, said they shared a deep bond and it was heartbreaking to receive the news of his demise. When I get this news about my brother's death, I said, God, what? I prefer if he had sick and died, but to get a cruel death like this. But anyway, God is in control. One of his nieces, Rhonda Filene, said that the slain Compton was like a father to her as he helped raise her when she was just nine months old. To find out that a man comes just and say, you know what, your uncle dead. I say, you mad? He said, no, your uncle dead. They, people kill him. Oh my God, I break down, 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 down. And then I call my aunt and I tell my aunt that Uncle Tony, you know what, Uncle Tony dead because some people killed him. It was very hard and still is hard for our family. We grieve unto today. Filene and other family members said they are grateful for the COI. They are optimistic that their families will finally get some closure in this tragic incident. Crystal Stahl for InfoHub.